Hey Cancers, it's Sunny and this is your weekly horoscope for the week of March 23rd, 2015. So I had a vision for you guys. I saw a pregnant lady. So there's a chance that a lot of you, um, you know, may get pregnant or your, uh, uh, your husband, your wife or girlfriend or whatever they may, you know, carry child. Uh, but honestly, pregnancies, uh, new births for, uh, like for new projects, new relationships, new adventures within your life, it doesn't necessarily have to mean you're going to have a baby. But a lot of you will have a baby. I feel like you will. You will know of something within seven days or seven weeks. So keep that in mind. But I feel like um, a lot of you, you really, need, you really do need to be quiet when it comes to um, your future and your future plans. And... Things that you want to happen, not everyone needs to know what's going on with you. Even family, honestly. Like, you you, you need to keep that to yourself. Especially, like, if it doesn't work out. Like, you don't want to look stupid. Like, I know, right? You don't want to. So, let things, you know, like, happen if it happens. Uh, do what you need to do. Uh, create a strategy and a game plan to uh, get the things that you want. To have a good future. And... Just shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Don't tell anyone what's going on. Also, um, a, a lot of you, you may be in La La Land. You may be in La La Land. And uh, people may be lying to you. So you may be putting your trust into the wrong people. So, you know, be careful with this because, like, like I said earlier, you don't want to look stupid. So... Please be careful that you aren't putting your life into other people's hands and you are, you know, putting your trust and giving them money and stuff like that because, you know, it's, it, it, you, you may look dumb and um, it's just going to be hard for you and it's just really going to hurt you. And I really don't want that for you guys that don't. But I do feel like you need to, and this it ties in with my other set of cards, you need to hold on to your money you do but honestly help out those who really need your help i feel like you guys um some of you may be kind of iffy with giving your family members money but if you really like if you really genuinely feel like they need help then honestly help them because you will get some really good blessings with that um but honestly you you do need to save your money uh towards good things like really focus on your finances and i mean focus on your foundation and your long-term goals like if you want a house or if you want a new car or something like that please save that up Th those are long-term goals like those are something very permanent and things that you really need worry about your needs rather than your wants for this week um i am picking up a family card and i keep staring at this so there's a possibility that a lot of you may you know either talk about uh conceiving or you may find out that, you know, a family member is pregnant or that your spouse or girlfriend girlfriend is pregnant, you know? So, and if you're happy about that, that's always good. I love babies. But um, I do feel like there's two people within your life. This could be female or male. One is really aggressive and um, really, um, like, they are, they want things quick. This could be you. Um, be careful with this person because this person may lead you down a really twisted road. I don't really feel like this is dangerous, but they're just going to lead you down a path that you really didn't need to go on. Like, you're going to make your way out of it, but it's just going to be really difficult for you to gain uh, access back to the path that you were on. I feel like this person is going to get you in trouble when it comes to your finances. Or this person, they're just going to get you in some trouble. Like, just, yeah, trouble that you really didn't need to be in. So, yeah. But, and with this other person, I feel like this person is really grounded. They're uh, really cautious. Um, they, I feel like they may help you when it comes to certain things. I have a, a rolly chair, sorry. They may help you when it comes to, like, certain things within your life. So, uh, stick to this person if you can. But I really do feel like you guys may kind of ignore this, uh, this uh, really grounded person because you may find them kind of boring. Some of you will. So, but yeah, I also feel like you guys may jump into conclusions when it comes to new opportunities. And if you are single, you may jump into conclusions on opportunities with love. So don't rush into love and don't rush into any business things. Because like I said earlier, 
Ooh, you don't want to look stupid. You really, really don't. But I did pick out two cards for you guys. <laughs> um, for my Hobbit deck, I picked out the Queen of Wands. And I picked out the Seven of Cups. And this card pretty much ties into what I was saying. The Queen of the Queen of Wands talks about, I want to say the Queen of Cups, but the Queen of Wands talks about um, someone who's like really like sexual and she knows, he or she knows what she wants. And um, a lot of adventures. So this talks about like activities. So please, like some of you may be getting your groove on this week. And that kind of ties in with the, the baby, like pregnancies. You guys may fuck so much that you may get your girlfriend pregnant. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of weird. It's kind of cool at the same time, but honestly, be careful of your um your sex drive. Like honestly, like you are grown. I know you are, but you know you really can't go off fucking everybody. So please be careful of who you give your body to, because everyone don't deserve you. They don't. So be mindful of that. But a lot of activity will go on for you guys. They will. And I guess that ties in with the two people that, that I was talking about earlier. But with the Seven of Cups, this talks about get your priorities in order. Don't be in la-la land. Don't be lazy. Don't expect things to happen to you. Like, you have to work hard to get things. So don't be in la-la land, like I said earlier. And, um, you know, be careful of uh, uh, the people who are in your circle. And make sure that people are genuine with you. And make sure that, you know, you have some legit people on your team. So, yeah. Try to have a good week this week, Cancers. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.